Good evening, X-Wing. Welcome to Echo Base X-Wing <laughs> Mission Debriefing. <laughs> the word X-Wing is throwing me off right now. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. We're on Gold Squadron <laughs> Entertainment Network, um, the Dion mothership for all of your Gold Squadron needs. Um, I am Walker Darko. <laughs> With me tonight are Kevin Lines. Hey. And Jake Ream. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, last week, someone said we were boring, so I switched their order in my intro to keep <laughs> things saucy. Just thought that would give Gotta us that little extra one. punch. So tonight we are doing Vassal again uh, with a player we have had before, uh, Psycho, and a player who has not been on our, our show yet, Catchy Slim, who is actually a local Minnesota guy. Yep. Well, you, he's a Minnesota a guy. Yeah. Northern <laughs> not, Minnesota guy. Yeah, not very local to most uh, the rest of the X Wing community in Minnesota, but he's we'll claim him nonetheless. If he had, yeah. To... Well, I mean, he won the regional. What was it? Was it three years ago? Now it was in first edition. Sixteen. Yeah, so three years ago he won the regional at FFG. So yeah. all I'm saying is he could be part of Ufta Squadron. <laughs> <laughs> is That's that like a squadron? North, North it could be. I mean, if we if we want to make it, it could be a thing. All right. All right. So, All right. Kevin, you said you want to mix you... it up tonight and play some Jedi. Oh yeah. I mean, if you guys have been watching the events from this weekend in the uh, Gold Squadron World Tour, uh, you've seen a lot of Jedi. And in case uh, you weren't sick of Jedi, we have some more Jedi. Uh, but we do have a Naboo who is not named Rick. Or Padme. What? I didn't think the, that ship came with any other tokens. That's right. There were four pilot cards. No, I don't <laughs> no, believe you. Five. Was there five? Uh, there was Rick. Pretty sure Padme. the Naboo Starfighter was the Rick Ollie expansion. That's it. Oh, it was. <laughs> but yeah, we get a we get a Naboo Starfighter that is not named Rick. But guess what? He does have force. <laughs> was was, so pan, was Panaka in, a... in there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, even when you couldn't get enough force, we found some more force users. I heard Have force some force with your force. That's right. <laughs> it's like a condiment you just can't get rid of. Uh, it's basically so mayonnaise quick... in the Midwest. <laughs> oh, God. Hot dish. Ranch. Hot dish. No, you mean ranch. Fair. <laughs> uh, so I'll give a I'll give a quick rundown. So on the left we have Vader with fire control, and that's it. And soon tier with Predator. Whisper with Juke and Fifth Brother. And I believe he was bidding nine points. If I remember when I was throwing the list together. On the other side, we have... We'll, we'll save the new guy for last. So we have... Wait, Jedi Knight. That should be Mace. Let me fix that. Hmm. But we have Mace with Sense R4, Delta B, and Obi-Wan with... R2, Delta, and Anakin, not in the Jedi Starfighter, but in the Naboo Starfighter with passive sensors and proton torpedoes. So just picture Jake Lloyd the whole time. <laughs> Somebody better tell him to barrel roll. <laughs> oh, we are uh, not, we're going to try our best not to make <laughs> spinning jokes and yeah, other prequel do, memes if we can help. I do believe we get to see the ability used. So just an FYI. Oh boy. But I am going to fix the overlay real quick if you want to proceed on. So I think we have what? Two lists that would not be considered jousting lists? I would agree. So again, at some point they are going to joust in a way. Yes. <laughs> and someone will be wrong. But I don't know who. Just uh, since we don't see Anakin in the Naboo Starfighter ever, um, just to remind everybody that's watching, the ability on the Naboo Starfighter for Anakin is that before you reveal your maneuver, you can spend a force to barrel roll. And it's not an action. So that means you can spin twice. And also, just to point out for myself, regardless of what it says right here, I don't play much for Empire. So, um, what does 
fifth brother do again? I know he gives him force, but... He allows you to turn an eyeball to a crit. Oh, or no force. No, he gives a force. Oh, okay. yeah. Just he, to show up in the overlay. Force. So an eyeball to a crit. That's nice. Okay, All I right. fixed it. It, it looks like... Mace. Uh, yeah, the, the uh, update, like the XWS didn't import incorrectly. It kept doing it as Jedi Knight and not recognizing Mace, which was weird, mm -hmm. but I just manually fixed it. Okay, because it still says he's a three for Oh, I'll skill. fix that too. Okay, there it is. That was, ooh, I, I got to see it live. That was nice. Okay. All right, so we are, do we have any plans on what they're going to be doing here? Uh, well, so I'm really concerned with Vader not having afterburners and I'm really concerned that he could get isolated quickly, especially with how spread out they are. Sure. All of these ships could just five forward YOLO and potentially isolate Vader if they really wanted to. And Vader can't really escape. So I am concerned that a fight could happen before the Imperial players are ready for it to happen. Hmm. Kind of like the old five forward boost Han. Uh, yeah, or I remember Dash in the old days, four forward boost, and then you could shoot at someone across the table in turn one, and they go, wait, what? <laughs> yep. And you just giggle and be like, well, I'm Dash. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually surprised that um, Vader and Soontir aren't switched. Yes, because he places after. Yeah. So yes. I was surprised as well. But I, I do kind of meet without afterburners, then it's really possible that they could just charge across the board and mm -hmm. you'd have to like run soon tier into Vader just to get them there because Vader could never catch up. Um, but I know he, and we've talked about this a couple times cause he was at the hyperspace, um, at FFG and he wasn't running afterburners on Vader. And I thought Nathan and I had educated him <laughs> that afterburners was the correct call. Did you guys take him into a back room and educate well, him a little it's bit. It's Kevin's version I mean, of per my last email. <laughs> in the top four, Nathan did play against him. Oh. And he had the bid, so Nathan still had to move first. And Nathan bent him over and spanked him. And afterburners was part of why. And, and we thought that was a good education for him. And apparently he still he still has to learn the lesson. He likes to bid too much. How many times <laughs> you gotta keep teaching this lesson, old man? <laughs> but yeah, no, he's a good player. I just thought it was funny that like he's still not using afterburners, but he should be. Hmm. All right, so let's see how they start to shake out then. Start clicking my way through this to see when they... They started it kind of later, so I'm not sure when people are going to be ready. Yeah, they had the log a little bit later on. We'll also get to see how good passive sensors might might be on a torp carrier yeah torp carrying little lanikin little annie yeah i'm curious to see how often he actually gets to use like the force as a mod instead of just doing his stuff his trick i'm not gonna say the word his though shenanigans <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that was the word but still i enjoy it yeah <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so they're using sense. So oh, yeah, they're Mace just... has sense, so he's spending a force to look at Vader's dial. <laughs> Seems right. Looks like it's a bank one right. All right, so Anakin. All right, so we don't see a charge across the board. Interesting. And Mace, just nice and slow. Uh, now they're commenting that Sense is only range to, up to range three, and they went, oh, good I, point. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing, and I wanted to pull it up to make sure that I hadn't read it wrong before, but yeah, they shouldn't have used Sense. There. I assumed they were just joking, like, oh, I'm going to use Sense. Sure, haha, -ha, here, it's one bank, and then he changes it or whatever. Ah, but good thing we're all good now. Yeah. Though. All right, Whisper... 
Yeah, Twitch chat is right. That would have been really powerful if sense would have been unlimited range. Well, I mean, there is a way to kind of do that, right? With Snoke. Technically, you can do it. But there's a lot of requirements and points that go into that. Yeah, too many words. Not worth it. Sure. <laughs> okay, so Whisper, Whisper leaving the options for both decloaks. And since you're kind of coming around... Whisper also protecting Vader a little bit, right? Yeah, I think she was sticking around just in case they charged. Yeah. But I just want to point out, like, so had they all just done, like, a 5 forward boost, um, it's mm -hmm. next turn, like, that fight's happening, and there's no way in hell Suntir can get there in time. Like, he's going to be out for at least a turn. Yep. So, but to be fair, like that, that whisper is, you know, with Juke and fifth brother is pretty good at, uh, helping with, Va you know, with, uh, yeah, Vader there, she's got mods offensively. Right. Unfortunately, Juke's not going to do a whole lot in this matchup. No, but this yes, matchup, but any other game. So we'll see which target really i think is is the biggest thing whose target does the republic player decide to go for first because that'll set the tone for everything else since the imperial player will react all right so it looks We're like they are decode. set and they are going to decode so let's just get going All right, she's coming down. Okay. So everybody's in their own lane. Yep. And that's very important, just not for X-Wing, but also for life. Stay in your lane. <laughs> life lessons with Echo Base X-Wing. <laughs> <laughs> if that's, what, if that's a segment you want to start, Walker, you can go for it. <laughs> I, well, you know. Just use your NPR voice. That's fun, though. All right, so... <laughs> Mace is moving too forward. So we're still not really in too big of a hurry to start fighting. Nope. Oh, but that but Mace is it. definitely trying to lead Vader. Yep. So does the fine-tune boost and then takes a lock. Okay. All right. Anakin's coming in, getting. I mean, he's doing a good job of getting all his guns together, somewhat. Mhm. Mm and he's not really choosing a direction, right? What was that? That was a standard barrel roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Obi Wan bumps. So he wants to hold Obi -Wan right back. up into Anakin's clumsy ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Okay. All right. Whisper coming in hotish. Three bank. Hmm. Do we see? So, decloak options are okay. I was gonna say. I wonder if he barrel rolls because decloak options are kind of limited. Right. And now if there's, uh, yeah. a, if there's a shot at him, he's got a rock too. And he did check before he did the barrel roll. He's like, did you use passive sensors? And he said, no, I did a barrel roll. So he had to double check, like, is it safe for me to come in here or not? Mm -hmm. Sure. It's tier. So tier staying on the outside. Makes sense. Hmm. Vader's definitely going to exchange shots. Yep. And he takes his target lock. I'm assuming he's going to barrel roll. Focus and barrel roll. Focus. Yeah. Barrel. Ooh, this might be range one. I'm going to go ahead and say two. Yeah, I think it's a little outside of range one. Okay. So he does the standard focus barrel roll, so he is now stressed. And time for some dice rolling. So I think Vader's first. Oh, well, okay, we'll check soon to here. <laughs> now vader 
range two. Okay, it's range two. All right. By a mile, Kevin. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's see what we got for damage. I mean, technically, was it Vader that killed Mace Windu in the movies, or was it still Anakin? I don't think he had assumed the name Darth Vader yet at that point, so. Uh, yeah. It's an interesting question. Let's get going. So. <laughs> <laughs> so three. Use the FCS to reroll the one. Ah, uh, just two. Yep. Blank into a blank. So. I always forget that they can't hear the uh, facile dice sound. Oh, that yeah. <laughs> to like know a, that it rolled again. Thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Two natural baits. Seems good. Hmm. All right. Obi Wan, nothing. Just out. So that means Anakin so got shot. shot. Be, yep. Next yeah. shot should be whisper. Whisper through a rock. Three. Who? Seems good. So the dice have been pretty good so far. Both, both, all dice, both sides. Yeah, yeah. And he can gets four plus an evade, and he has. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hi. Oh. oh. Heroic. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you should have tried spinning. <laughs> oh, you did it. <laughs> yes, of course I did. I promised we wouldn't. <laughs> you promised. I didn't. Low hanging fruit. Uh huh. So that's not an ideal turn for uh, Anakin. No, so Anakin <laughs> loses shields and spends the evade. Wow, okay. Jeez. Hey, he couldn't juke any of his dice, though. <laughs> True. <laughs> You're not wrong. Juke costs too much. Better lower it. <laughs> Never even comes up. Uh, Walker Twitch chat said they can hear the dice. Oh, good? Yeah. Nice. I didn't think they could. Must be one app that doesn't silence when we're on streamer mode. So now, what, a mini, a calculated modified two dice shot? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going to expect no damage. Spend that force. <laughs> oh no, what if I had two tokens? Oh no. All right, so two hits, yeah, two evades after you had the evade token, and then he still can cloak, so seems fine. Hmm. All right, and now Maze is right. shot. Here, here's the one that I think probably means the most, right? Target lock probably. focus shot. Potentially. Seems, seems like it's the big money shot here. Well, it's just, yeah. It's force enough. Force is not enough. Mm -hmm. I spent a lock still. You've got... Ooh, force wasn't three. needed. <laughs> he didn't have to force it. All right, now Vader. Takes yeah. one. I mean, not bad. I think if you're the Vader guy, or the Vader player, you, you take that. Yeah, I think one shield for two seems fine. So... Can he hit? He fit a decloak down. He can, right? Whisper can decloak to the right. Um. Didn't Whisper barrel roll? He did. So. So he for sure should be able to then. Oh no! It's using the two templates, though, isn't it? No, that's what I'm saying. Is he barrel rolled? He was fairly close. Whisper was fairly what? close to the rock. Okay, so you think he probably can so then? I I believe that the decloak down towards that rock cannot happen. Okay. So now the game is which way is Whisper going? Forward or or left? Yep. I think if I think the best move for him is probably forward, right? Because you you just try to remove the four dice attack. Because if you approach Anakin, no matter what, at most he can only roll three dice. Mm -hmm. And then Soontir can just come in hot, and you can get a two on one. You might be able to initiative kill Anakin. Yeah, I think that. That's probably your best bet, especially with Anakin already losing shields. Yeah. Um, if you really want to get cute, you could even like decloak forward K turn. Potentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, that feels really aggressive, but a decloak forward one bank seems fine. 
Yeah. And then soon tier comes in with like a three forward boost stuff shenanigans. Uh, I think I think yeah, Mace does a K turn here. But is is are you playing to the fact that Anakin is probably going to go fast to get that evade? Um. Because if that's the case, like whispers two forward D cloak, one bank. Like if Anakin is going, let's say a three or four speed straight, that's going to bump right into Whisper. Which I mean, I mean, you, Whisper's okay with that because yeah, I was about to say you're kind of okay with that though, right? Then you just right. start shooting at Obi Wan. Yeah, and and then you use Soon Tear to punish Anakin for not getting right. Actions. Yep. And and so here's the thing: I wish he would have spent the force to do the barrel roll and not the the stress because. Now Mace can really just get behind Vader and there's really nothing Vader can do about it. Mm. Like if Mace does a four or five K here, like there's literally nothing Vader can do of any consequence to Mace. Yeah. Um, whereas if Vader had the option to flip, I mean, Mace has to actually consider it, but Mace more or less knows Vader's going to have to kind of bank in or go straight, which means he's free to do whatever the hell he wants. Uh, I'm curious to see what he does with Obi Wan and stuff, because they're really close together. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be tough not to bump him unless they do the same thing. Well, and he could also do the thing that we've never really seen yet before, because no one's played it. He could do like a pre barrel roll and be somewhere that he's you know we're not used to or thinking of. Like if you plan and you visualize the pre barrel roll right now. I could see Anakin like barrel rolling left and then coming in a little bit maybe, but that, again, that's where Soon Tear will be to punish him. Right. Keep so him Anakin honest. would need to go speed three unless he does like a hard turn. But what if yeah, what if you Anakin barrel rolls uh ship right and then does a three turn in He could with passive to try to catch Soon Tear in yep. the Proton Tour. He could. And and again, I think that's where the decloak forward bank in or turn in with with uh, mm -hmm. whisper. And then if you combine whisper and soon tier together, you should be able to get rid of Anakin. Because if right. he takes passive sensors, he's only going to have a cal calculate. Right. But you prevent the torpedo from going off, which is your whole objective, right? Yep. Okay. All right, well, let's see what they do. Decloaking. Does he go left or does he go forward? Oh, now Mace has the option to look at a. Dial. Ah, yes, that's right. He can dial peak. And he's looking at invaders. Really? One bank right. I feel like you kind of knew that, though, don't you? And that would be the one I would care about the least. I think. Yeah, I would look at whispers. Yeah, definitely. I do get the sense on Mace where if you're going to do it, you could then, if you're going to do a red, you know, you get it back. So it's like a free sense. That's kind of cool. Yeah, sure. It does fit. Oh, so oh, he wow. could fit the decloak. All right. Maybe I was right. Well, this, so hold on. I actually think I like this decloak the least because now torpedoes are very, <laughs> right. very, very possible. Right. Because now, unless you go really fast with Whisper, like three bank you're probably going to see Anakin do a, a three speed and then passive and be yep. able to shoot either soon tier or whisper. Yep. Okay. And probably Let's see not happens. soon tier because soon tier is going around that, that, that uh, gas, cloud. gas cloud. And if, if Anakin goes fast, but. Oh, so we so see mace, a one bank out of mace, which will block right. Vader. So that's, that's a little boring side battle now. That's fine. Um, I feel like you'd get more mileage if you just flipped and started shooting at him, but especially after using sense to it's like you you already set your dial thinking that you're gonna block Vader because Vader's stressed and what the the blues are pretty limited on that dial. To to be able to turn, yeah. Yeah. This so Anakin's coming in. Did this... he do a three turn? Yeah, three yeah, turn. Three, right. So I wonder if if the block was predicted and now he's trying to 
It's possible. Yeah, it's possible that we've been thinking about Whisper this whole time, and his plan from the beginning was to go for Vader. Mm-hmm. Which chat okay. did question, so kudos to chat. But I do mm-hmm. want to point out again, then, this is just another reason why stressing that Vader, I really don't think was a good idea. But Yeah. Because yeah, now he uses passive sensors. But in this in this case, like Whisper's worth more points. Like, why not go she after is. Whisper and start, you know what I mean? Start whittling Whisper down. Uh, I think it's just he saw an opportunity to mm. catch Vader since Vader can't escape. So barrel sure. boost. Had I think had Vader not been stressed, he probably doesn't do this. Or at sure. least, okay. I don't think he does, but maybe. But what I don't like about this now is if you look where the Republic player is, you've just given your the backs to your of your ships to both Whisper and Soon Tier. Mm-hmm. And they're like coming Soon Tier's probably a little bit out of the fight. But now yeah, now you've got those two ships chasing your ships. And Whisper has no risk of losing that evade token. Yes. Yeah. So he can play around with that decloak all he wants. Mm-hmm. And Although then... his decloak options next turn are really limited, he can only go left. Right. Because of that rock. Invader bumped, who knew? Almost like he could sense it. Uh, I didn't like that. <laughs> Talk about low hanging fruit. <laughs> and since here. Oh, he didn't bank. I thought he would do like a three bank. But he'll Ooh. still get a shot. But he did what? Three forward. He boost? did a three forward, yeah. Three yeah. forward focus boost. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so soon Tier will get a shot first. So will Vader, although it probably won't do anything. But yeah, he'll go Vader this time. So might as well go for Anakin, right? Yeah, might as well. Looks like he is. <laughs> Oh, they're they're remembering the target lock situation from passive sensors. Yeah. Yep. So one hit, and nothing he can do about that. One of eight. Yep. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't have a shot. Oh. Well, okay. Well. Out. This could be a really, really, really bad turn for the Imperial player. So, I mean, it's range three, so you hope, as the Imperial yeah. player, that it shouldn't hurt so bad. Well, it's the torpedo that I'm worried about, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the Obi Wan shot that you're yeah, worried. Yeah, like the Obi Wan shot maybe strips the shields off, but it's the torpedo. Right. That's what I'm afraid of. Mm. Oh, now I'm really afraid of that torpedo. Oh. That torpedo is really going to hurt now. Because we're already at half points on Vader. Oh, I don't know. So if Whisper can't do something significant right now, oof, he's going to be really far behind then. Looks like it's range one. But and it will be obstructed. It is range one. Yep. So let's see what he does. Oh, Ouch. not mm. a good roll. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. man. That little Anakin, slippery. This could be real rough. And he gets his target. Actually, line. based on math, this should be real rough. So, torpedo. Uh oh, we're at least at three. Uh oh, four. <laughs> <laughs> we're at four with two crits. Oh. Like, you just clench. Oh! Okay. I don't know a lot of Spanish, but no bueno comes to mind. <laughs> Should, should that be 
two crits? I mean, not that it makes uh, sense. Yes, technically the proton. And no, it's two crits. There, there you okay. go. And Vader is off the board. Uh, he just jumped to hyperspace, that's all. Right. He just spun off from the Death Star <laughs> as if nothing happened. <laughs> huh. Yeah, not being able to get anything out of Suntir and then having a just not great shot from mm -hmm. Whisper took all the pressure off. And Anakin could just do whatever. Okay. Um, I think we're going to see Mace turn around. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing Mace is going to turn around. Anakin possibly as well. I'm trying to figure out what what you do with Obi-Wan here. Other than, like, I guess a, a bank and sit behind the rock. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what he does with the Anakin here. But yeah, I would assume Mace flips around. Suntir comes in left. So yeah. does Suntir go to flank here? Or does he just two bank in? I mean, I think he's got to come in now, right? Like, I, th I think so. The Empire player is down 69 to nothing. Like he, he needs He needs to start playing very aggressively. He's yeah, definitely he having to be did not get much damage yeah. through up until then. I mean, sometimes you lose yeah. points, but you've got a couple guys close to getting getting you points. Not really, just Anakin. It's it's more of I think right now based on the board state, uh, if Obi Wan doesn't five forward, then he's in a rough spot. So I'm yeah I'm gonna guess Obi Wan five forwards here, mm -hmm. just to kind of like reset. I think whisper. You decloak left, and then what? Candy cane, right? Probably, yeah. But my only concern with Suntir is if you two bank in, like you're starting to converge in the same place with both ships. Whereas if, and it sucks, but if Suntir were to like four forward then boost, you start to create two vectors that you're approaching from instead of just one. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we'll see what happens. Sense. Whisper's doing a two bank. Whisper's doing a two bank? Two bank really? left. Okay. So he's kind of diving in for a close shot on OB1 potentially, or if he thinks Anakin's going to be there. Could potentially block Anakin, depending on what Anakin's doing. I don't think he would, but. Well, Anakin's moving first. After the decloak, Truth. yes. After the decloak, yes. Yeah, after the decloak, but you can't block anything with right. the decloak. Not in this situation, no. Yeah. Block the barrel roll after it. No, okay. Um, so let's see what Mace does. Three bank. Three bank, huh? Not a two turn, really? Bank boost. I think he's just taking his time because he know he can. Yeah, setting up a one turn. I'm surprised he's focusing here. This would be a perfect turn to take a lock because mm -hmm. it's no like shots. since you're not going to shoot you, and you know where Whisper will be, and she won't shoot you. Like this would be a really good turn to just bank a target lock. <laughs> this Especially is kind of a reset turn. Know where Whisper is going. Yeah. There goes Anakin. Get the evade, probably boost, so you can't get shot. Yep. Oh, we went five forward. Okay, so everybody just gets out. Sure. I mean, as the Republic player, you can do that. Mm-hmm. But you, you probably should do that a lot. Right. Some tear coming in. There's the two bank and then the boost, but he's still not going to have a shot. No, I don't think we're going to see any dice this round. Nope. Now you have a really weird decloak situation. Mm-hmm. Because... It's forward or nothing. It, I mean, it's forward, yeah. But now your opponent knows, okay, I mean, this is kind of like the whole thing we talked about before the episode about just playing Rick. Like, your opponents often know, he wants to three-turn, so I'll be in these places, which make the three-turn really terrible for him. And in this situation, like, you know, he has to decloak forward, and he doesn't 
want to do a three turn he wants to do like a one or a two turn so you can say all right well if i just keep going fast like you can't really keep up with me here the question really is is, is does mace do, do like a one turn and take a focus and then obi-wan kind of like turn in and take a focus or do they all just continue to just evacuate and pull them around I mean, you're pulling them around. What is your ultimate end goal? Um, well, your end goal is to create scenarios where Whisper's having to be very limited with her options, like he right. is right now. Because um, that's what you want. And then you just re-engage during those times. Just, you know, I just I, think I, about getting, giving up free shots while you're doing your pulling. Well... If you're sitting behind evade tokens and force, right, you're relatively safe, especially if you're going fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got plenty of turns left, so let's see what Mace does. He's not yeah. looking at anything. Well, I wonder if he could guess where the ship is going to go. Right, <laughs> decloaking forward. I mean, at least soon tears in a spot where. He's probably going to get some shots this turn, or sure. get to take a shot. But well, it gets interesting. Mace coming. Oh, there's in. the one turn. Okay. So he's trying to keep Suntir honest. Makes sense. And yeah. he can just yeah runs. Rebank. Boost. Does Obi do? A one or a two turn? It's a, a one. one turn. Okay. And then I'm assuming he does a fine tune boost and then a focus as well. Yep. There's your boost. Fine tune boost after. The oh, he hard does one. a lock. Okay. Must not be worried. No, he's pretty aggressive with using his force. Which is fine, it's a resource. Mm-hmm. Well, and you're you're creating a, a really bad situation for soon tier. Yeah, you are. No matter what, the whisper will have a shot. Soon tier, at least it has a gas cloud, I guess, for survival. Well, except, he sees it coming because he could just boost now. There you yeah, go. he could just boost and be safe. But again, we, remember that thing that we talked about, like. It, You've created a cluster now. Literally, Whisper is right next to Soontir. Mm -hmm. Which now, that means the Republic player can more than like more or less just turn his guns in a direction and right. ships will be there. Take, gave him decisions and then took yep. him away. So let's see All what right. shots we have. I think it's just the Whisper shot. Yep. Mace yep. Might, might clip uh, Soontir. I thought Mace might have a shot. Oh, he might have a shot, but it's not a. I don't Ooh, think it's gonna do anything. Only one, only Anakin safe. So three, the two. Not bad. Yeah. Hmm. You'd hope for three, but yeah. Spend that force That's aggressively. Force. So I will point out, Obi-Wan is out of force now. Like, he'll have one because it's the end of the turn, but right. he's only got one. That will matter. And there's a range three through a gas cloud. Look at that. Soon Tears got auto thrusters back. Oh, he sure does. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. I thought he's I heard Tyler dice? tip it. Just lose his. <laughs> I he forgot. Did. Dion did say to be PG, so I had a look. Yeah, let's just leave that go. Um, all right, Mace versus Soon Tier. I mean, can't really ask for a better red dice. Yeah, feels feels fine. Add your and, auto thrusters, and, yeah. <laughs> yep. and as expected, does no damage. Right. I mean, we've seen okay. four blanks. We have. So mm. this turn, though, Anakin could get a bit of pressure. Because Whisper could decloak forward and then three turn left. And and for sure be able to shoot. 
Mace, what, probably does a one turn left? I mean, I think you need to do that with Mace just to... But he can't Well, with Obi-Wan there. Can't... No, I think you could fit a one turn left. You Or you just... I think. Or you bump and don't care. Yeah. Uh, he. I guess he could also one bank. No, I don't think he could one bank boost. Because you know, soon is probably doing a two turn. So you, or you, I guess if you really want to, you could just look at his dial. Uh, Mace could also just K turn here. Mm hmm. Uh, Obi could also K turn here too. Like you could just 5K or 4K, 5K. I, th I think with Obi Wan on one force, though, you just want to. Like bail out with him for a turn. yeah you could the pressure the, the question just becomes how, how much pressure do you want to apply during this yeah. turn because i'm sure anakin's probably gonna what five forward boost should like to try to avoid shots or just create range yeah yep chat thinks that one turn will fit i think the one turn will fit too it just comes down to how aggressive does he want to be with mace because I mean, in theory, he could turn Whisper and Suntir both in on Mace, and it could be a bad turn for Mace. So the safer move is probably just doing the K-turn. Sure. So it's either a K-turn or a one-sharp. Bringing it back. You brought the Sharpies, yep. Doing it. Um, <laughs> all right, so Mace is going to look at a dial. Yep, for free. So I feel like you just look at Suntir's, right? Did he say Suntir's? He said Whisper. Really? Yep. I feel like you know. <laughs> He's going to turn left. <laughs> like the speed is less a less irrelevant, you know? Yeah. You yeah. The speed is not relevant at all cuz you know Whisper's turning left. Oh. Chat's telling us that Mace is 70 points because of the Jedi Knight. Yeah, I can't fix that though. Right. Or, or can I? Can I fix the points? I don't think I can fix the actual points. No, it won't let me change that number. It just lets me change their name. It's. I have the list open. So he's technically worth 70 points. Yep. Obi is worth 72 and Anakin's 57. Mm hmm. So is that 199? It's 199. Yep. All right. Uh, so we know that Whisper is doing a. One turn. One sharp. Oh, yes. A one hard left. <laughs> okay. So, decloak. I mean, I guess in that situation, like, you know, both Whisper and Suntir are oh. turning left. Wait, he decloak. Really? Huh. That's a really cautious decloak and one turn. Did not see that coming. <laughs> yeah, I thought for sure he was going to try to continue to apply pressure on Anakin. Yeah. Well, hmm. Maybe you thought Mace was coming up real quick, except for he did the safe thing, according to you, and K turned. Hey, well, yeah, it also makes sense free, right? You get your your force back immediately. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anakin's just getting out of there. Yeah, five forward boost. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Yep. Do we see another K-turn from Obi then? Kind of. Oh, a sloop. Yeah, a sloop. Sure. Mm, okay. I don't like it, though. Um, Whisper not, not yeah. Some free shots. Not Given the scenario of only having one force, yes, you're behind a gas cloud, but the K-turn, I feel like, would have been a lot safer. Well, it's the positioning. Oh, you're you're in Mace's way. Gas cloud. Yes, you're also in Mace's way. You're correct. I think a, a K turn would have been really that's strong. That's the biggest thing. Like that's the reason why I don't like it is because you you put Obi Wan right in the way of or you're blocking your own ship now. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like I think he can fit a two bank over the top, but now you're starting to play leapfrog with yourself. Mm -hmm. Whereas a K allows Obi to go either direction, and Mace has a full dial option the next mm -hmm. turn. Yep. And we yeah. saw. We saw Suntir do a two-turn left and barrel roll to make sure he was out of arc. Okay, takes a focus. I don't... He might get shot at, maybe? No, I think he was close, but I think he barrel rolled back far enough that it was... The big concern this turn is 
Obi only has one force, and that gas cloud is not in the way anymore. And then just to point out, uh, it doesn't say on the overlay, but there is only one charge left in the proton torps. Because it's a little too by it, but... Yeah. I do think we start to see Anakin do a, a turn in from behind that rock. Yep. I like that, Kevin. A, ha, a, two, a turn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, no shots for Obi-Wan. Which will mean no shot for Mace, probably, too. But Whisper, all the shots. Yeah, range three on Obi, I'm assuming. Unobstructed. No way. <laughs> okay. Three. All right, there's his first good Whisper attack roll. And now we get to watch Obi-Wan's amazing defense roll. Eh. <laughs> But this is important. I mean, yes, he loses a shield, but... Juke? <laughs> oh, wait. He loses two shields. Yeah. Unless he spends okay, a force. That's even... Well, he has to spend a force, but he'll still take two shields. Right. Whereas, I really agree with... with oh, I'm saying this. I agree with Jake that had he just K-turned, Obi does not get shot, and if he shoots at Mace, you're effectively immune to the Juke. And you spend a couple force, whatever. Mm-hmm. But that would then allow Obi to have two force on the next turn instead of zero, well, one force, whatever. True. And now Whisper also has your flank, and there's really nothing you can do about it because you can't turn Mace up because Obi's there, like Jake mentioned. And Obi's also not having that option to turn and address Whisper if she decloaks forward. Or okay, had wait. you done the K turn, you suddenly have two ships keeping you honest on it. Okay, time out for a second. <laughs> Walker, are you recording this episode? I am. I, I need to know because Kevin is agreeing with me a lot, and that doesn't ever happen. <laughs> no, <laughs> He's doesn't. saying that I'm right. That he... also never happens. And you know, he said the words and mentioned your name, which means now the sound clip will actually have your name in it, much like the yeah. clip from Minoc, where Kevin said, "Let's be honest, Jake is an ace." I mean, can't argue with Kevin. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I do I... think. I do think Anakin uses his ability this turn, though. I think he's going to do the pre-barrel roll and then do a three-turn. Or he could... I guess he could just do the three-turn. I'm afraid that if he just does the three-turn, Whisper might be able to stay out of range. Well, then you also run the risk that I know there's a lot of hit points left, but you want to make sure you get Anakin back into the fight before something major happens. Right. And this next turn could be really significant. Yeah. Because I mean, I know that sometimes, so that's where fl when flanking goes wrong. Yep. You're just one turn too far out. <laughs> that sounds like a bad highlight reel from uh, Gold Squadron. When flanking <laughs> goes wrong. <laughs> I thought it was like, like the, lo the local fl fox station of when animals attack. Yeah. Uh, so, so the the one thing I do like about the positioning for the Republic player is you're turning or you you have um, soon tier coming back into your firing arcs out of the the two Aether sprites. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I like. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I think you'll be able to see his dial. He was within range three, wasn't he? He just wasn't an arc. Um, of mace. He, he, yeah. So yeah, you, you could just tier? yeah yeah for suit tier. So you basically what I'm getting at is you can see where his dial is. So with that, you can assume that the soon tier player is not going to turn in because he's probably terrified of the entire situation and will probably just bail out. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, could also let you plan for that. I mean, it's the whole, does, is he going to do this or is he going to do that? And I mean, if, if the soon tier player knows you can see his dial. Yeah. And there are two ships in front of him, like... Mm, he has to be very, very, very careful, but we're about to see the sense, right? We could look at yep. any of the aisles. I can see both. And, yeah. Two. Yeah, no. Asking in chat, can I, can I spend two for us to see both dials, please? <laughs> so he did pick Soontir. Yeah. And Soontir should have four forward. And I'm pretty sure Obi-Wan's going to be able to block that. Well, we'll find out. 
So we'll see if he decloaks Whisper to the side to try to pressure Obi if he does try to put the block on. Well, I'm Anakin. Oh, he just does the three turn, huh? Okay. Oh, they missed the decloak. Yep. So but either way. Okay, so he is decloaking to apply pressure on Obi if he does go for the block. Yep. And then you know what Anakin does? And he boosts. Yep. So again, Anakin is now at least another turn out. He is, but he should be relevant next turn. Yes. In fact, he might be Proton Torp relevant. So Mace just does a two forward. Yep. He could almost just stay there, right? Oh, he's going to take the lock. Yeah. Sure. I, I... But he'll stay there. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Obi-Wan is not blocking yet. Well, yeah. hold on. <laughs> He's yet. not done moving, Walker. What part of yet? <laughs> well, so is he regening? They didn't say it in the, the log if he's regening or not. It's barrel roll. Yeah, barrel roll, and then is he going to... Oh, he's going to focus. Okay, so he's not going for the block. He's just trying to apply pressure. Okay. Whisper's there to hopefully oh. light Whisper up Whisper doesn't move, though, right? Does not. Okay. Four forward. Okay. I thought for sure he was going to like send Obi out to do the block on the fast maneuver, and then you would just try to block the slower maneuver but with Mace. But... Can Suntir boost out of Obi Wan's shot? Uh, yes, but not Mace's. Right. But I'm saying you still only take one shot then. Yeah. So I'd say you just evade boost here. Focus, He's focusing. Boost. Okay. Unless he thinks. I'm pretty sure he's out of Mace's arc, right? Oh no, he's definitely. Or in not? Mace's sorry, arc. not Mace. Obi Wan's arc. I. It's close, but I think so. Yeah, I think he's out. Yep. He's there. Out. We go. Okay. So Whisper gets a, a shot at Obi. Yep. Ooh, that's oh. The best. Yep. Yeah. Mace a shot. Range three. Unobstructed. Jeez. Oof. Seems good. Yeah. These are like Sean's dice. Jeez. <laughs> Spend the focus. Uh oh, take a crit. Ooh. Soon Tear doesn't like that. But he is doing a good job of spreading the arcs a bit. So I can get that sucker to zoom a little bit. Hull Breach is uh, face up damage. Like all damage is face up going forward. So I will say, I think this is the one thing I've noticed with Whisper that I don't like is her dicing consistency. Because she's a lot of points. And if you just don't roll very good, her being that big of an investment really hurts your squad. Because let's just say, like, he's had, what, one attack that's been three hits. Otherwise, it's been one or less. And he's had modifiers on every one, technically, yeah. because he's had force every time. And then juke, technically. But, um, like, that's kind of just my big issue, especially with the Jedi now, like, I feel like if you're ever going to try to play Whisper now is not the time to do it. Because if you do get inconsistent damage, then if you get damage through, they can shrug it off with regen and then, I don't know. So do we see a 5k from Obi here? Like a three turn with passive sensors from Anakin and then a 5k from Obi and then you use Mace to try to block Whisper's move. Is that the play here? Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind the 5k from Obi-Wan. One thing right? is, Cause... though, if you look at the Imperials, Kevin, like you were saying before, they're not jammed together anymore. No, they aren't, which 
is helpful. I mean, Sunter should be able to get a free round of fire onto uh, Anakin, and there's really not much that the Aether Sprites can do about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Also seeing what happens, Mace Windu. Sense. Who would have thought looking at your opponent's <laughs> style every turn is good? Especially when it's only a third of your force. Or it's free if you do a red maneuver. I'll say, and you have methods of getting it back before it matters. Yeah. Just like the Luke Sense thing. Yep. All right. So, so who's dial? Whisper. Okay, good. He's looking at Whisper, the correct ship style to look at. It'll be a three bank. Okay. So is he decloaking right or is he going to go forward? Oof. Either way, I really like the 5k from Obi here. I mean, it's a safe 5k from Obi Wan. It is. Right? Yep. Ooh. So he's went with the hardest option to block. Although at this point, do you really need to block it? Because he's got evade force. And Mace came to play. And then is he barrel rolling or what's he doing? Yep. He's trying to block it. I don't think that'll do it though. Uh I don't think so either. I haven't played Vessel enough to be able to judge that very well, but if he does get that block and Anakin does the passive sensor shenanigans here, this could be rough. So Anakin three turn. Mm-hmm. Here yeah, we go. Passive. And Obi Wan. And see the hard turning. What? Chasing soon here. So, what? I guess my question is, why? This turn, if you're setting up a kill box for Whisper, why are you not aiming all of your guns at the same ship when you could do that? Yeah. Like, I understand you're trying to keep soon here honest because if soon here does like a two turn. But at this point, I feel like if Suntir wants to shoot at Anakin through a rock against an evade token, like whatever. <laughs> Is or, it more I mean, to control Suntir's movement though? I like guess if you can continue to apply pressure on Suntir, you keep Suntir going in the direction you want and taking away those dice anyway. Yeah. But if Suntir does a two turn. Mm hmm. Can't he just evade and then barrel roll out of Obi's arc, have him at range one, get the focus at start of combat, and if Anakin really wants to shoot that torpedo, then he's going to shoot it against a focus evade and obstructed? Like, I feel like he'd be better off just flipping, but whatever. I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at it from a different perspective, I guess. It does not block Whisper. Ooh. No, and, and what you're saying is ob obviously very uh, correct for the way you, that you would play. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, look at, well, why would that move make sense maybe to somebody else? And right. if it's to try to control soon tier and hurt him in a direction, you know, other than getting that arc pointed at your ship's. Oh, did he forget to take the... Ev I can't tell the symbol next he to his ship. He has a little then. evade next to his ship. Okay, I was going to say, is that the evade? Okay, so he does exactly what I said. And, yep. you know, you're not happy about possibly eating a torpedo with Suntir, but if you're going to eat it with four dice and both tokens, is the time to do it. Right. right. But I guess my big concern, too, is so... <sighs> Whisper, more or less, feels like the damage of the list. Mm -hmm. And this was a, a big opportunity to really push through damage, especially with the torpedo, because she's only rolling two dice. Mm -hmm. So we're doing range one on Obi Wan. Uh you mean range one? Yes, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> like I get what he's doing. I just feel like he would have yeah, gotten no, and, more and mileage. I completely agree with you, and I, I think the assessment of the whole turn. Is, is spot on i'm just looking at you know maybe a different no yeah alternative yeah. to why a player might do something sure no it makes sense e even if yeah even if it 
probably isn't the best thing to do. All right, let's see how how this hurts Obi Wan. Oh, Ow. you still can't spend it. It hurts. You just use Predator. Just do it. Don't don't spend it. Just predator? yes. Good. Okay, yeah. he's Predator. Oh, oh. and he converts oh, with Predator. Oh boy. <laughs> So Obi Wan is at minimum taking a lot of damage. <laughs> you mean hit crit? Yeah, I, that hit crit, crit could be minimum. Really bad. Yeah, so hit hit crit. So shield hit crit. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh if it's a dark ten, he's failure. gone. So one. So left. just to, so just to touch on that though, if he was really con confident. That Suntir was going to do the two turn. Mm -hmm. Don't you just regen Obi Wan this turn? Use the one. Wait, he already had to use the Force, didn't he, to get to where he's at? Yeah, yeah, he had to use the Force to barrel roll. Oh, okay, I was going to say use the Force to boost or whatever, so then he can block Suntir's two turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is still not the ideal situation for Obi, <laughs> but whatever. I, I'm done, I guess. <laughs> I could keep going on for this for a while, but. Are you done like Worlds 2015? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, so this this could be the end of Obi Wan. It should be the end of Obi Wan. He has what just a focus and one health. He should be dead. So, I also just want to should... point out he has two regen charges on Obi Wan that haven't been used yet. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're just making sure Obi Wan didn't have a shot. In case there was any question, I guess. <laughs> Whisper three dice, yeah. Yep. Spend that force into a crit, and then for sure it's a dead Obi Wan no matter yep. what. Yep. So another hit, another crit. You may never see them again. Well, uh, did Does they forget the passive it? sensors target lock? Mm, I think they did. I'm Anything? sure that he'll give it to him now, but. Yeah. And then there's. Yeah, now he's doing the target lock. They just did it out of timing. I mean, I, I feel like, so this is the second torp, so. No, it's not out of timing. Passive sensors is before you engage. Oh, it's before you engage? I thought it was in the system phase, or at the start nope. of combat. Nope, it's before you engage. If your oh. charge is inactive, then you can uh, calculate or okay. target lock. So wow, not... that So that means, oh wow, you don't even get a target lock. So like, if you're an initiative like one or two ship, you literally could just get killed and everything and never actually gotten to use passive sensors ability. Correct. Oh. Wow. Okay. Right, so can... this is a tough spot though because like this is the second torpedo and once Anakin's torpedoes are gone he's more or less just filler and mm -hmm. you're shooting four dice on four dice against double tokens like yes you could hit but he's primary this is not the... oh he is okay yeah. I think that's probably the right call here so hit focus Spend force. Yeah. Innovated. Um, but what I was what I was getting at though with the passive sensors was I thought you got it at the beginning of combat, so that at least like oh no like this ship's gonna just eat it. Well, I'll at least have a calculate token while I get shot at. Mm -hmm. But if that's not even the case, oh wow, okay. Right. But as chat saying, it's good, on in the sense that you can wait until that ship engages oh yeah i know who's left that you could shoot at so you don't yep. take a target lock on somebody and then accidentally get lucky on another guy which i mean yeah. right. no it, first world it makes problems sense. it makes oh sense. no my free target lock happened on a guy that i killed too quickly yep no that makes sense i've just never played against it so i didn't remember i didn't know when the timing window was mm -hmm. um so let's see he gets to sense a dial for free 
I mean, in this situation, can he see both? No, you can only see one. I'm almost positive, unless I've been playing oh, since wrong. One's dead. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you can only see one. Yeah. Uh, so does Mace flip and it can do his trick? Do a three bank in and take a focus and just stare at Whisper? And possibly block Sunchir? Like the pre-barrel roll right, mm. three bank in, focus evade, and then Mace just flips. That's what I would do, I guess. I think so. Because then Suntir's, I mean, if he wants to two turn, I guess he two turns, but well, I feel like you block that. I, I think you should always just play that Suntir is going to two turn. <laughs> sure. I mean, there's an edge case where soon tier two banks, but most of the time it's two turn. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting because I don't think I don't think soon tier and whisper get their guns going the same direction. And if he wants, could he fit a three? Could he? Could a, could Anakin fit like a four forward or a three forward, and just block soon tier's two turn and just take a focus of eight? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he hits that rock, so he could just do that too. All right, well, let's see. Sense time. I'm assuming he's going to. He looks at Whisper Tell. Okay. Hard three left. So he's going in for a dive bomb kill on Anakin. So I'm assuming if he's going to decloak, it's forward. Well, he has to decloak. Hmm, I'm kind of surprised he's doing a three. Do you click forward? Man, Whisper's not going to get a shot. Is he just running? Or I guess Whisper could barrel roll, maybe. So Mace is at full force. Yep. Anakin's just creeping. Really, a one forward? Well, soon tier does a two turn. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather just block with Anakin and not get shot by Whisper or have double tokens? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> then comes Whisper. Yeah, Whisper's going to serve up lunchtime. Soon tier. Four forward Wait, blocked what? onto a rock. <laughs> Anakin was blocking soon tier this whole time, and you didn't okay. even know it. Wow. So if you're the soon tier player and you're this worried, just two turn down away and take away the ability for them to block you. Like, yeah. Because this I is mean, a cost. I don't want to be pessimistic, right? but he rolls a crit right now into a direct hit. Well, if he takes any damage, it's face up. <laughs> That's true. So if he rolls it, he got a 50% shot of taking a, a crit. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you're if you're concerned and you want to be cautious as a soon tier player, then just roll back how fast Whisper goes or put her in a different spot and just bail soon tier out the bottom. Like, yeah. Oh, and that's a good point by chat. Or do a five forward. Instead well, he was stressed. He was worried. Right. But yes, I agree. That's and a hit. That's oh, a crit. It's a crit. That's a direct hit. Uh, and <laughs> responding to chat, you don't have to. I don't have to look. I know what that one does. Oh, God. <laughs> really, Walker? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't turn a lot of crits in my regular play, but uh, direct hit is one I know. <laughs> that's that's rough. I mean, Oof. this could be an interesting end game if Whisper is able to kill Anakin here, but otherwise, this could be rough. Oh, I mean, that was the best block I've seen all year, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and it's August. That's saying something. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for the Kevies when you do your little award show. <laughs> Is that what they're going to be called? <laughs> I don't want to see the trophy if it's called the Kevies. <laughs> 
The Lil I'll Kevs. About, I'll have to figure some ideas for that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So Whisper gets the shot. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Range two obstructed. No, not obstructed. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. This game got interesting. I, it could real quick. Or Anakin could just natty two and then we're like, eh. Well, he still takes a crit, though. He doesn't have any shields left. Mm. Spend it. Best case scenario. One crit. Damage sensor array. That's the action bar one. I'm going to go ahead and still hover over it to zoom in for everyone. Mostly me, though. <laughs> Just focus actions. And damage yeah. cards. Okay. Oh, Mace gets a shot, I think. Yeah, he should be range three. No. Or not. Okay. Huh. Okay, so... He can't sense your dial. Is this the... So seeing what we've seen, he'll probably be cautious and he'll decloak right and he'll like turn or something. But could this be an interesting turn if he decloaked left and then did a 4K? Trying to catch him off guard, maybe? Mm. It's interesting. Yeah. Is it effective? It is interesting. I, mean, I, also I don't know, know that a good Kevin, move, but I also know you don't play Whisper, so I I take it with no. that too. She's a faction I don't like. <laughs> She's a faction in and of herself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Whisper faction. I mean, there was a Phantom faction for a while. Yes, yeah, there was. was a time where it was the Phantom faction. So I don't I don't know if I like that because if you bank with if Mace is going to bank to the left at all, that leaves Whisper. Uh... With a Force of Aid token? Well, here's yeah. the issue, though. If Whisper can kill Anakin, mm -hmm. I mean, with her initiative five, and I mean, does she, she can probably run away, right? Uh, potentially, yeah. Mace being able to see the dial kind of creates a problem, but sure. yeah. I'm just so I guess my perspective is here is Anakin needs to die, is close to dying, and this is one of the few turns you're going to have the ability to do something unpredictable because Mace can't look at your dial. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to try to go for it, like now might be the time to do it. I mean, I'm not I, saying I, it's the play. I'm just saying it's something I would really, really, really consider. I think. Uh... You and Obi Wan share the same opinion, Kevin. Anakin and needs to die. Yes, and Obi Wan did not finish him off. So for real, though, think about it. That would be a great <laughs> spinoff series because there had to be some teenage angst pissed off at the chosen one throughout training, right? Just some guys <laughs> like we got to short sheet his beds. This kid sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, this might be it, unless he thinks he's gonna like three bank away and he does a one sharp or something. And that's what I would do if I was playing Whisper here, would be the barrel roll or the, the decoy up. We're, we're going to see the Anakin shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> you were close, though. Sure. <laughs> it's only shenanigans if he barrel rolls twice in the turn. Well, I mean, he gets to advance sensors barrel roll right now. And then hard left three. Uh huh. It's a great time to barrel roll again. You know, it'd be amazing if he had a K turn dialed in right now. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Action. Damage sensor array. So he could do the barrel roll because it's not an action when it's his ability? Okay. Because I, okay. I think it's perform a barrel roll, not perform an action. Barrel, I don't know. Let me read the card. They did clarify that in the log. 
Before you reveal roll. your maneuver, you may spend one force to barrel roll. This is not an action. Oh, it literally, literally says, says this is not an action. Yes. It... That's convenient. That works, except for this is not a great spot for Anakin. Not if he K turns, but if he does a one turn, I'm pretty sure that's blocked. But does he not get the evade because of damage sensor array? I think that might be correct because, hold on, let me pull up my... Yeah, D Dutch in the Twitch chat is saying the same thing. Yeah. Because it, it says after you fully execute a three to five speed maneuver, you, you may perform, perform an evade, evade action. action. So yes, he should not have an evade token. Just another reason that he should K-turn right now. But he already moved. Uh, Whisper? No. Uh, Anakin, sorry. I was thinking. Yes. Yeah, Whisper. Oh. Look at that. Even Mace is clenching. Look at him wind up with his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> if he does a 4K here. Three bank. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody shoots. Ah! And I think his decloaking options are pretty open, except for forward. Yeah, I think he can fit it to the side. But now he has to turn, and now Mace gets to look at his dial full free. Oh, and that's what Psycho said. He was going for Anakin blocking Whisper and Mace having a range one shot. Yep. Uh, so Mace does a sloop here, right? There's zero consequence for it. Sloop left. Mm -hmm. Uh, you mean right? Ship right. Right. Yeah. Or yeah. Sorry. And Anakin, I think, just hard turns boosts, right? Uh, what? Well, yes, Anakin, I think, turns left, and you could even just bank and just try to like stay the hell away. So let's see where we go with this. All right, both players are set. Let's see what happens. Yes. No sense. No decloak. Oh, that's the sense that we're seeing right now. I see where we're going. Yep. Yeah, so the three turn. So he's probably going to decloak left, three turn around. All right, so Anakin's doing the turn. Oh, he went that way. Okay. Oh, that's what, that was what my guess was, was that turn. Oh, I thought he was, was... going to turn the other way. Takes the target lock now, so he doesn't have to use passive sensors. Sure. All right, Mace. I'm assuming sloop with no consequences, yep. Not even no consequences, actually a benefit. Yep. Force back up to full. Uh, you just barrel out of range here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And out of range. But now, unfortunately, you kind of only have one decloak option, but whatever. Wait a second. Has Anakin repaired that crit? Hmm. I don't think he has. I don't think he has either. I call... Go ahead and say it, Walker. Shenanigans? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they forgot. Is probably the situation. Oh, he repaired when he did a three turn. Okay. Wait, how did he repair when he did a three turn if he took a target lock? I don't know. I think he was saying that is that the turn before this. Might have been, yeah. That's probably when. 
I haven't been paying that close attention. So Mace two banks in You have to try to like thread that needle, right? Because Anakin can three turn and then boost. D -clock and you're trying out. not to have the torpedo. Hmm. I'm not sure Talon what you do with this Anakin. You, even Talon roll. roll. Okay. Makes you do forward. Really? And whisper. Okay, you better roll. Okay, so he's kind of congregating. Oh, whisper's coming for it. Okay. He, is he using mace there to create some space so that way Anakin can shoot the torpedo? Uh, no, I think he's trying to congregate the two of them back together. But, kind of, yeah. All right, so. Range two. Range two. Not ideal. Eh. Bend the force, whatever. Two crits, but it's going into shields. He takes a shield off. Yep. Range two back. Spends the target lock to try to get to three. You might as well. Mm -hmm. There's three. Oh! oh. Ooh. Ooh. So I assume just spend and evade lose both shields. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, I didn't get your decloak on. So, 5k here from Mace. <laughs> or 4k, I guess, if you really want to. Yeah, I see that he's in the chat. He said that Sense made this game real hard right here, and I absolutely believe it. And especially when the shields are down like this. So since. So hold on though. Yep. I think so as the mace player, you want a K turn, but I think as the whisper player, you decloak to block the K turn. So I wonder, I'm curious to see what mace does then given that like, does he just do like a two sloop instead? Interesting. Okay, so sense, what's the dial? He has a four forward. Okay, so he's coming in hot. Oh, oh he's not decloaking. Or did he accidentally? I think he just block? accidentally did it when he yeah. revealed the dial. I think he did the, yeah. Yep, the auto movement or whatever it's called. Yep. All right. This makes sense, though. Whisper needs to try to close distance to kill. The problem is, is Anakin can kind of respond, kind of respond. And he basically needs to see exactly how far forward that is. If you couldn't eyeball it, he definitely knows where it is now. Yeah, I like <laughs> that he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that he blocks the K-turn here, which is good. Yeah. Mace is a Segnor's loop. Yeah, and Mace sees that coming knowing, hey, you can decloak. Yeah, I'm not dumb, too. Yeah, Anakin's that makes sense. Barrel roll. Wait, he can do that because it's not an action, even when he's stressed? It's not an action. Shenanigans. That seems good. And yet. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is, is like, which is better? Anakin and Aether Sprite or Anakin and Boost Starfighter? Uh, uh, I feel like question? there's no question. Yeah, there's <laughs> right. no question there. I mean, this is cool, though. We get to see, and that's part of why we picked this game, was we get to see a ship that basically no one's using. Yep. And yep. it could be good. We should find out. And I think he set that block up perfect. Sure. You know, I heard it's easier to block people when you know where they're going. 
<laughs> True. <laughs> I mean, it does make it significantly easier. Yeah, I mean, Travis Johnson even said, I wasn't good at this game. I just knew where people were going <laughs> so I could block them. <laughs> And that's Travis the Johnson Johnson? That is the Johnson Johnson Johnson. Okay. <laughs> this could be uh, the end of the game right here. Uh, maybe not. I mean, could be? Nope. All right, well, Whisper will not be decloaking this turn. Or cloaking this turn. <laughs> Ugh. And the game chat log is also true where it said, needless to say, sense is going up next round. I can't believe it went down. <laughs> I can't believe it went down. Up, up, up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're going to make it uh, supernatural style and we won't be seeing it much. And that makes you know? sense. With that said, I hope they also do that on collision detector because Tavson collision detector is stupid. That one's just for Matt. Mm -hmm. It's dumb. So. I think as soon as FFG realized that they could make points adjustable based on initiative or agility, things like that, we're going to see that on more and more cards just as we go through these updates. For some things, it's good. I think for some things... In uh, I guess I could go on a rant here. Like we see that with scum and villainy. Like yep. I know people love scum, but scum as a faction functions on breaking the rules. And when you break the rules of the game, you're playing with fire. And a lot of times it can get mm -hmm. real bad. And like sense is another situation where like you're looking at hidden information, which is kind of against the rules. And we haven't really seen that much of it yet, but it's pretty gross. Yeah. But I mean, we had what, how how much time in at the end of first edition where we knew that that was a problem with you know right the triple jumps doing the same thing or or was oh it god even... yeah no yeah you it was the triple I mean? intel so, jumps with torpedoes yeah. it was, it was so, silly so we already knew that that was a bad for the game and potentially very abusable and we have it here <laughs> yeah it's it just tough it creates intrigue uh no sure oh okay. <laughs> All right, so May sensors on Whisper, I'm guessing. Uh huh, because uh, it's free. Do a three turn, turn sure. left. Trying to get out of there. That makes sense. Mace is and this is going to be blue because he has R4. And Anakin gets the barrel roll. And well, we're seeing the ability used twice. Three times, right? Three times? When was the first time? Didn't he do it over by the rock on his way out and then again up top? Oh, you know what? You're right. This is the third time. Because he did it stressed and did it when he couldn't do damage, when he's damage sensor array. He still has yeah, damage sensor right. array. You're right. Maybe. Well, we think he repaired it that turn that he tried to block. Oh, sure. Talon roll. I thought he would just do a three turn. Okay. I suppose he's covering his bases, right? Just in oh, case Whisper forward? does like a flip. Oh, I think he just hit the wrong thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, not where Whisper wants to be. Mm, no. I think Mace forgot, though, that he has R4. But whatever. He's still winning. Yep. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> He is still winning. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, he's at one health. <laughs> Unless he just chooses not to spend. Uh, well, there is a chance here that Anakin could just kill him. Because he had to. Did he have to spend the evade? I don't think he did. Really? Yeah, he just yeah. called it. Uh, yeah. Fair. <laughs> I mean, he just Nan yes. Torf's World's Finals this game, and although this was definitely much more decided than that was. Uh huh. <laughs> I can't wait to play you next, Walker. Why? Cause. Oh look, you beat the fat kid in a race. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you take pride in that. 
It's not pride. It's just a small <laughs> sense of enjoyment. <laughs> I am jogging right now. What are you doing? Uh, mostly side aches and Charlie horses. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so, a uh, couple of key takeaways here. Um, the big turns was the Vader stress, in my opinion. Like when he took the stress to do the barrel roll instead of just using another force. Yep. Which then led to his absolute destruction. Um, and then I think that I can remember that turn where he could have K-turned. I think that would have been huge because he might have nuked Anakin right there. And then it's an interesting end game between Mace and Whisper. And it's pretty much just try not to give half points on Whisper and make it mm -hmm. to time. Because they only needed, what, two more turns and they'd be done? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it's not always the right decision, but something to think about when you're behind like that is to try to do unpredictable things because it'll throw a lot of players off, especially if they've observed most of the game, you're doing a very calculated or cautious approach. Sure. Um, I think, I guess the other key turn was the soon to your turn, right? When he yeah. decided to like totally kind of try to disengage whisper or get the, like a super flank and then soon to your got caught trying to run, I guess. And I think at different points of the game, both players took risks that they didn't need to take. Ah, uh, yes. And he paid for it with Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's that's the key turn that I was thinking of, was he took that risk with Obi-Wan and didn't, didn't need to. Uh, he was in the lead. And even, um, I don't remember, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And even when he could have done that 5K that we talked about, that also could have been a turn when he regened. Yeah. Like, if he felt really confident or safe, he could always just do the K-turn then, take at least one regen and have two shields yep. right there while you set yourself up. But, yeah. I think those are those are all one all big turns or big moments. It was cool to see Anakin kind of cheat the rules. That was interesting. Interesting, but still probably not as good as I-6 in well, the Aether I mean, Sprite. Almost nothing is as good as... Aether Sprite Anakin. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. His ability is <laughs> insane. All right. Uh, that's all I've got, I guess. Anything uh, chat else wants to know if we think this Anakin build has legs. I mean, if you don't have the points for Anakin and an Aether Sprite, maybe. Um. um so we know that the deltas are automatically good, right? So we know that three right. force using deltas are good. So Obi Wan and Mace like automatically are good. Um, maybe I've run into the issue that I noticed with playing Rick, but I mean you're gonna see it with any of the Naboo's is that the chassis ability and kind of its chassis forces it into situations that your opponent can really easily play around. Mm -hmm. Although if there is going to be a torp carrier with passive sensors, like it's definitely this Anakin, right? That, sure. It, it makes absolute sense. Yeah. So like it has legs, but I do fear that the crates are right, that the Naboo isn't necessarily bad, but I don't think it's the answer to what Republic's looking for because most of the time you can solve that same problem with just another Aether Sprite. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's kind of my opinion of it. Well, I, I remember going back to when this faction was first being either spoiled or after release. And one of the things we talked about that we all thought it, it kind of needed was that cheaper, mm -hmm. like mid-level ship. And I do think the Naboo fits that role. It does. But I think what we're finding out and what we're seeing more and more of with all of these big events and the same build kind of rising to the top out of the, the Republic is they're just... Like, the aces with force is just better. Yep. And I, I think, honestly, most of that continues to not be the chassis itself. It's actually Delta. I think Delta B needs to continue to go up. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to continue to push it. Because I actually think CLT Jedi are pretty fair. Two things, they're though, like, like, force. I think, ge in general, force users still might need to go up a little bit more. Yeah, And we're probably. seeing it more and more because... It's a it's a passive modification that you have that regenerates itself that doesn't cost you actions. 
and there's no consequence ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah having and three counters no, is pretty good. Yeah. Yep, it's really strong. It's really strong. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I mean, for now though, Jedi are here to dominate, <laughs> for the most part. As they should. Or I shouldn't say Jedi, because it's kind of just Force users in general, right? Like we saw the top four at the European mm -hmm. Championship. All of them had Force except for the one Resistance list. I didn't look beyond that, but I'm gonna guess. Like if I took a like a percentage, yeah, seventy plus maybe percent of all lists and like top cuts and top finishes are probably at least one Force user or mm -hmm. one Force point in the list. So. All right. Well, anything else tonight? Um, no. Not that I can think of, other than I'm working to try to get War Room started Monday at eight thirty, Central Time. That's when I'm hoping to target the first episode. We're just um, finishing up stuff. Were were we? We had talked about this before, but the first September first, I believe we were. Walker, you're going to be out of town that weekend, right? Yeah, I'll be gone for um, September. Well, the, whatever it is, the day before Labor Day. September yeah. 1st. Yeah, so I guess were we going to have an episode that day or are we going to take the weekend because of holiday weekend? Were we taking that off? Oh, that's right. Next Monday is the second, isn't it? Labor Day. Correct. Yeah, I'll still do the show. Um, I don't know. It's up to you guys. You okay, guys well, gone, so. <laughs> well, well, on air production meeting. <laughs> kind of up to you, Jake. Okay, well, we can talk about it afterwards. All right, we'll we'll keep you guys posted on Facebook then and let you know. But I'll still plan for the second of September to try to do the first episode of War Room with Blair. Can't wait to see that. It should be good. We get to make fun of Carson, so I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thanks, Don't everybody, for joining us. Have a good night. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. See ya.